Right now at six, thousands of fish in Beaver Dam are dead after water levels are lowered over the weekend. The city lowered those levels in the river to aid an ongoing construction project. Now residents want more answers. Ricky Mitchell has a story that's new for you on Live at Six. Estimates from the local lake association put the total loss between five and 10,000 fish. We're talking walleye, northern pike, and a lot of panfish. But local officials say the immediate problem has been corrected, and this won't happen again. The images are shocking. Thousands of dead fish floating along large portions of the Beaver Dam River. People are pretty outraged about it. Janine Morris says her family loves to fish, and they were heartbroken to see this happen. There were some trophy fish in there, and, you know, it takes a long time for a fish to grow that big. And it's just, it's sad. According to the city, they started bringing water levels down last week by closing off the dam. This was to dry out the concrete about four miles down the river where a delayed construction project is taking place. But a large amount of fish were still coming through the dam and there wasn't enough water for all of them. Unfortunately, you know, we had that fish loss in the meantime. So there's um, the problem of now cleanup and, and looking forward to getting the project done because it is a thoroughway and it's an important area because of emergency service for our community. Bill Betke with the Beaver Dam Lake Improvement Association says it's too early to assess blame, but it wouldn't have been an issue if the city didn't lower the water levels. Why we got more fish going through this time, we can't answer that right now. We we're gonna look into that. And why did all those fish get through there? And uh, how can we prevent it in the future? The city opened the dam back up early Friday morning and water levels are now what the city calls acceptable. They are working with the DNR to prevent future fish loss as this construction project goes forward. There's got to be a balance. Like I said, I mean, it's not that we can just say we have to quit the construction project that has to be finished. The mayor says it's illegal to relocate the fish, so the city couldn't have moved them beforehand into the lake. Now, local officials are looking into other methods in the future, such as a prevent engine gate to keep large numbers of fish from entering the river. Reporting in Beaver Dam, Ricky Mitchell, today's TMJ4. All right, and Beaver Dam residents are encouraged to attend tonight's city council meeting at 7 to learn more about what just happened.